Guys, what's going on? Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. Good day to Australia. Australians, is there a morning show called Good Day Australia? Because if there's not, there needs to be. Uh, we're talking about new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment. We have the two newest uh, Osploitation Classics Blu-rays, New Bruce Lee and a Heath Ledger Rarity. Uh, so I'm super excited to talk about these. These three, hold on. These three are all labeled regions A, B, and C. Uh, so you don't even have to worry about those. But the Bruce Lee movie is labeled region B. However, it plays perfectly fine in my region A locked player. So all these, no problems whatsoever. Where should we start? Uh, let's kick it off with the Osploitation Classics. By the way, this I've pulled... We've talked about every single past Osploitation Classic Blu-ray release. Uh, this is the full stack right here. Four... More video coverage about these. Check out my Umbrella Entertainment playlist, uh, which I'll link to in the description of this video. And uh, always keep your eyes peeled to SerialAtMidnight.com for full reviews. I've talked about so many Australian movies at SerialAtMidnight.com. Brian Trichard Smith movies. Uh, let's kick it off with these two. So we've got number 12. This is uh, Long Weekend. And we've got number 13, which is Harlequin. Both of these were written by, uh, screenplay by Everett Desroches. And uh, so there's sort of a double feature there. That's the guy behind so many Australian uh, classics, exploitation classics, which uh, we're going to talk about in just a second because I think one of these actually has a, a list here. Well, here, from the screenwriter of Patrick, Long Weekend, Road Games, and Razorback. There you go. There's a little, there's a little IMDb, a little resume for you. Uh, let's kick it off with Long Weekend. By the way, all the stuff that these two uh, exploitation, exploitation releases have some pack-in goodies, so stay tuned. We'll cover all that. Uh, Long Weekend is a crazy, crazy movie. It's about this couple that goes out into the wilderness uh, and just wreaks havoc with nature. Just does terrible, terrible to the animals, terrible to the environment. And uh, nature pulls a stone cold Steve Austin. Nature is like, uh -uh. you ain't gonna come out here in my woods and tear it up. And that's, <laughs> Nature 316 says, the dingo's coming for you. Uh, there's a lot of animal and human violence in this movie. I think all the animal violence is simulated, just in case anybody's wondering. There is a dead kangaroo in the movie. Uh, the filmmakers say that that was dead before they got there like roadkill kangaroo i suppose uh so i just wanted to shout that out because that's not always the case there's one australian movie in particular i'm thinking of where they actually go kangaroo hunting and it is brutal they cover that in not quite hollywood uh, mark hartley's documentary it is insane uh but this is nature striking back this is nature's revenge and this package is really really beautiful but we've got the movie on blu-ray we've got the world debut, how do they word this? Uh, the first official release of the soundtrack. So there's the score, the soundtrack score there. And we've got lobby cards. Here, I'll see how quickly I can go through these lobby cards here. Now I know <laughs> all these lobby cards are safe to show. Uh, for Harlequin, one of them I can't show because it's got uh, body parts. Um, this cardstock is fantastic. It is super duper, uh, sturdy and very high quality. We pack all this stuff back up so I can clear my plate here. There's a ton of extras on this. I'll put up video so you can see it all for yourself, but uh, a soundtrack, original uh, CD soundtrack, eight collector's lobby cards, uh, 2021 interview with uh, the actor, uh, directors, Let's see, 2021 interview with the executive producer, new audio. See, I'm just reading the back and you can read it yourself. But look, new audio interview, uh, 2004 commentary, um, tons and tons and tons of stuff. New long, let's see, new long weekend from 2008, trailer with commentary by director Jamie Blanks, a trailer reel for Colin Eggleston, so much stuff. So uh, long weekend now, number 12. And we'll talk about number 13 before I show the posters. But this is Harlequin from the same writer. Sort of a supernatural, um, I don't know, how do you describe this movie? With a, a Rasputin-like figure possessing psychic abilities and unnatural powers, the stage is set for a climax of unbelievable terror and tension. Old school special effects, international cast, genre bending, 
Beautiful, beautiful presentation on this exploitation classic from 19. What is the year on this? 19 is 80. Yeah. Uh, check that out. Really, really good looking stuff here. So here is, here are our lobby cards. There's one. Yeah, I'll have to censor this one. It's like being very careful here. <clears throat> well, I'm it's it's kind of hard. I'm gonna say is is from a YouTube perspective, it's kind of hard to balance all this stuff at one time. You're like, okay, I got the case in my lap, trying to do these lobby cards quickly, but they're sticking together because of the card stock. And I think I might like, oh, that, that was cool too. It's like, which piece of art is another piece of poster art? Really, really sharp stuff. And, uh, and we're back to the beginning. There's a lot of cool special features on this too. So the eight collect, looks like the eight collector's cards are not limited editions. Uh, so extended, not quite Hollywood interviews with the director, uh, the writer, the producer, actor, 2004 audio commentary, archival interviews. So much stuff here. Interviews with, I mean, these, when you said sometimes these things have hours and hours of special features, like much longer than the actual movie itself. So that's really cool. All right, that's number 13. And as promised, both of those came with limited edition posters. It's quite, quite large. Okay. I think they're narrow posters too, I guess. I guess that's the, and it's got the Osploitation Classics branding in the, in the corner. And then here's the, the Harlequin poster. Very cool, right? So I believe that's going to be your limited edition incentive to go ahead and order and not to wait. Uh, let me talk about where we want to go here. Let's go with Bruce Lee. Uh, continuing to release Bruce Lee for the Australian audience. You know what's cool is you know there's a in in the U.S. there's a Criterion Collection version of the all the Bruce Lee movies. But I know for a fact some of my American viewers are buying these over the Criterion Collection because they like these better. And I got to tell you, some of these special features are crackalackin, yo, including this, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. But uh, you got the movie. I love that artwork on the back and check that out. Now look at that. It features the complete documentary Iron Fist and Kung Fu Kicks. Now I've already reviewed them. I've reviewed this movie a, a couple of years ago. I think it was, it's an amazing documentary about the entire history of Kung Fu. So I own this. I enjoy this. I appreciate it. And I've reviewed this, but now it's an extra on the way of the dragon Blu-ray, which is so cool. Uh, celebrities interviewed include Sammo Hung, Simon Yam, uh, so many people here. Uh, alternate opening trailers from Hell, which is super cool. I love trailers from Hell. Uh, Australian director Brian Trenchard Smith on The Way of the Dragon. These are unique extras. These are things that aren't on other box sets. And then if we actually open the Blu-ray package itself, we got the disc art with the very hairy Chuck Norris. He's even hair here's even hairy hairy Chuck Norris. Uh, and the uh, this is a exclusive card and if you take the disc out check this background the 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 interior of the art wrap i think that's just gorgeous i want that on a poster bruce lee and chuck norris with that font it's like 70s computer font i think it's great so australians you guys are in good shape when it comes to Bruce Lee because this film, the films of fury line, this is number three. I have number two and I have number three. I don't have number one. Um, but you guys, I mean, it's awesome. It's so cool. All right. And then last, but certainly not least my namesake, Heath Ledger. Uh, we're roughly the same age. He's a little bit older than I was. Uh, he was a little older than I am. 
but uh, I wonder if our names come from the same place. If his mom was a, a big Valley fan, a big, uh, a big Lee Majors fan. Two Hands, 1998. This is a, is it 19? Hold on, let me, I gotta do the old man, like, hold on, let me lift my glasses here. I believe it's 1998, and I'm not seeing the year right now. Oh, there it is, 1998. Uh, independent crime movie. Let's see. Winner of five AFI awards, including Best Film. That's a big deal. Featuring Academy Award winner Heath Ledger in his breakthrough performance. Two Hands is a classic Aussie crime tale about a young man coming of age in a tough world of crooks and villains. Heath Ledger, Brian Brown uh, from, from Cocktail with Tom Cruise. David Field and Rose Byrne. Uh, wonderful stuff. So I have not checked out this edition or these extras, but I'm really excited to. All new interview with uh, producer Marian, uh, Marian McGowan. All new interview with director Gregor Jordan. All new interview with actor Brian Brown. All new interview with actor David Field. Original cast and crew interviews. Original behind the scenes featurette. Photo gallery, trailer, TV spots. It's amazing. Such great stuff. Uh, and remember, ABC. This video is primarily probably of peak interest to the Australian audience because they're a huge demographic for... A lot of our viewers are, are we, you know, serial at midnight, big in Australia. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, what's cool is when stuff like this and the Bruce Lee movie, when it just like makes its way all over the world. And that's why I get to cover this stuff because it's of uh, it's of global interest. These Australian, these exploitation classics are uh, pretty popular. A lot of people like those movies and they're getting like the most legitimate presentation that they've ever gotten. So I'm super excited to be talking about them and, and letting you guys know, hey, what are you guys going to pick up? Australians, are you going to walk into JB Hi-Fi and pick up uh, Harlequin? You know, I want to know what you're interested in. I want to, what do you think about the movies? Most importantly, here's the purpose of uh, some of the, the, like the, why do we collect video? It's like, I never want to put the presentation over the actual movies. I'm so grateful that these movies are on Blu-ray, that they've been restored, they're in HD. The lobby cards are awesome, the posters are awesome, but the movies, man, we get to watch these movies. We don't have to seek them out. Like, oh, it's been so hard to find some of this stuff for so long, but it's all changing. We're living in a golden age. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, continue the conversation in the comments below, and until next time, I will catch you later.